Hey there everyone, this is Hugh from Playglands Media with Rio. Say hello Rio. Okay. Now today I'm bringing you another video playthrough, this time of Marvel Champions Rise of Red Skull. I'm playing Captain Marvel Leadership against Expert Red Skull, which my lovely wife uh, picked out for me to uh, have a go against. Now you're probably wondering, there you go mate, you're probably wondering why am I doing another video? I already did one yesterday of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the board game. Why not go and just do something better with your weekend? And to those people I say, what is as good as filming board games, uploading it to YouTube and having three or four people watch it and nobody comment? I'm living the dream here, folks. I'm living the fucking dream. Okay. Okay. One moment. Yeah. I'm living the dream. Hmm. Four views, maybe five. Cheers to those of you who are going to actually watch this video. Thank you. Hit subscribe if you haven't. You can join the 19 other people. Now, follow Playlands Media on uh, Facebook. Follow Ian Van Gamet on Instagram, Redbubble, go to www.playglandsmedia.com. It is worth it. If you are in Katoomba today or even tomorrow, please go to Gallery 188 and check out Vision of Hell, Ian's latest uh, exhibition. Absolutely phenomenal artwork. So, Without further ado, let's get this fucking shit to the table. Okay, so this is uh, Marvel Champions the card game on my nice new Rise of the Red Skull mat. So today we are actually going to be playing against Expert Red Skull. We have the side scheme deck here, the sleeper out of play, our main scheme, the red house side scheme. So until this is defeated, red skull cannot take damage. He has 16 health, 3 scheme, 1 attack, and he gets plus 1 attack for each side scheme in play. When revealed, deal the player an encounter card. Just going to do a quick shuffle of the encounter deck so you know that I am not cheating or stacking the deck. Okay, and I will deal myself one face down encounter card. Today I am playing as Carol Danvers for. Recovery, and I can choose a player to draw one card as my action. And of course, she is Captain Marvel with two thwart, two attack, one defense. And I can spend an energy resource and heal one damage from Captain Marvel and draw one card limit once per round. My wife chose Captain Marvel. She also chose the aspect I'm playing today, which is going to be leadership. So I've built a leadership deck. I have not used it, so I'm not too sure how it is going to go. My wife also chose Red Skull on Expert as well, so this should make for an interesting video because I pretty much never play on Expert mode. I don't consider myself uh, that good of a Marvel Champions player. I will draw my starting hand. six cards. We have Wonder Man, 
Falcon, Alpha Flight Station, Genius, Sky Cycle, and Heroic Response. I'm going to ditch Wonder Man and keep the rest as my mulligan and I get Mockingbird in response there. Okay. I'm going to play Mockingbird to get out Alpha Flight Station. I can exhaust this, choose and discard one card from my hand to draw one card or two cards if I am Carol Danvers. I'm going to use her ability to draw a card and I get energy absorption which is phenomenal. I'm not going to use the Alpha Flight Station. I like my hand at the moment. So I'm going to use these three resources sorry four resources to get out Falcon. After the end of play look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. For each treachery looked at this way remove one threat from a scheme. So let's have a look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. We have one treachery and two minions. Spreading lies. Okay. Okay. So at least we know what's coming up. And we can take one treachery off of the red house. The red house has a unique ability. When you thwart uh, this side scheme, you can use your attack instead of your thwart. I'm not going to need that. I'm going to use two resources from Genius to get out Rapid Response. Hero Response. After an ally you control is defeated, discard Rapid Response and put that ally back into play from your discard pile with one damage on it. I'm going to flip Captain Marvel. I'm going to thwart for two, getting rid of the Red House, and Captain Marvel will attack Red Skull for two, taking him down to 14. Okay, that is the end of my turn, so I ready everything. My hand size is now 5. So I have Quinjet, Photonic Blast, Power of Leadership, Energy Channel, and Ready for Action. Okay. Red Skull's turn. We put one thwart on the main scheme. After resolving step one of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it into play. And we get Hydra Reinforcements. This is going to give us an extra encounter card. And when defeated, uh, discard a non elite. The player who defeated this scheme discards a non elite minion. So if we get some minions in front of us, not bad. Two threat on there. He is going to attack for one, two, plus, if this card resolves during an undefended attack, it is an undefended attack. Discard a support you control. That is a support, that is an upgrade, okay. So Alpha Flight Station gets discarded and Captain Marvel takes two damage going from 10 down to, sorry, 12 down to 10. Now we get this encounter card, we deal another encounter card plus 
one more. Okay, so let's do these in order. First is Twisted Reality Insight 1. We add one threat to the main scheme. Attach to a side scheme. When attached side scheme is defeated, deal the first player an encounter card. We get a Hydra Soldier with Guard. When defeated, deal the engaged player an encounter card. One scheme, two attack, and four health. We cannot attack Red Skull until we get through Guard. And finally, Scheming Lies. When revealed, place two threat on each scheme in play. Okay. So this is now half of uh, what we need. Four of eight. And this is now four. Um, not the best turn, but certainly not the worst. Okay. I'm going to put energy channel into play. Cost zero. Okay, one per player. Spend X resources to put X energy counters here, and then we discard them. Deal two damage to an enemy to a maximum of ten for each energy counter here. So we want to get five energy counters on there. We are not going to get them this turn, however. I am going to play Photonic Blast using a Wild, an Energy, and a Science. Deal 5 damage to an enemy if you paid for this card using an energy resource, which I did. I can draw a card. You know what? I'm not going to play that yet. I am still going to play it. No, I am. I am. I am. I. I got to get rid of this guy. When defeated, draw an encounter card. And because I played with energy, okay. So I have crisis, interdiction, heroic action, thwart, remove two threat from a scheme. If you have the aerial trait, remove two threat from a different scheme. Which I can't play. Now... I'm going to use Falcon to thwart for two. Captain Marvel to thwart for two. I just realized I could have gotten rid of that soldier by thwarting and then I could have saved my Photonic Blast to hit. That was my mistake I made. Twisted Reality, I get an encounter card. That's the difficult thing about uh, not taking time to go through each turn that I'm just kind of, I'm not rushing it, but still kind of annoying. That's okay. All right, we draw back up to five. Where we get Crisis Interdiction from four Energy, another Crisis Interdiction, Ready for Action, and Nick Fury. I think I know what I'm doing on the next turn. One Threat on the main scheme. We draw a new side scheme. Sense of the Past, three threats. Each player chooses up to three cards in their discard pile and shuffles them into their deck. I like that. It comes in with three thread on it. He is going to attack and Falcon is going to defend. Red Skull gets one, two, three, four damage. Coming in to Falcon. That is going to take Falcon out. However, Hero Response. After an ally you control is defeated, discard this. Put that ally into play from your discard pile and deal one damage to it. 
So Falcon comes back, and after he enters play, look at the top three cards of the deck for any treachery. We take a threat off of the main scheme. So the top three cards, minion, attachment, and obligation. So sadly there was no treachery cards, but at least we know now that I will be getting Carol Danvers' obligation uh, coming into play. So, we draw an encounter card. Our first encounter card is Assault. The villain attacks you. Okay, one, two. I'm not going to defend. Three, four, five. Wow. I just went from 10 health down to 5 health. The next encounter card, Advance, the Villain Schemes. Oh boy, this is unlucky. This is going to uh, flip this, so he's going to scheme for 3, the boost icon 4. That is going to push Rise of the Red Skull over to New World Hydra. When revealed, reveal the top card of the side, side scheme deck and put it into play. We have 11 thread on here. After resolving step one of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck. And this already comes in with one thread on it and our new side scheme is Prison camps. When defeated, the player who defeated this side scheme searches their deck and discard pile for an ally, puts it into play, shuffles their deck. Okay. So we'll put that there, and that has three scheme on it. And our last card, of course, is our obligation. You may flip to alter ego form. I am going to do that. And I'm going to exhaust to remove that card from the game. Okay, it is my turn. First thing I'm going to do is draw a card. Next thing I'm going to do is flip. I can. I'm going to spend a crisis interdiction to heal one damage, putting me back up to six, and to draw a card. Okay, crisis interdiction, energy. I'm going to use one, two, three to play Photonic Blast. Deal five damage to an enemy, and if I paid for it with an energy resource, draw a card, which I did, giving me Cosmic Flight, putting Red Skull down to nine. Okay. I'm going to actually. You know what? Let's play this game. Put three energy counters on. Cosmic uh, Energy Channel. Then I'm going to discard those three to do six damage, putting him down to three health from nine. And Falcon is going to thwart for two. 
and I'll keep Nick Fury in hand. This is probably going to go very badly for me, but what's life without a little risk? Five, okay. So we have teamwork training, spider woman, the sky cycle, power of leadership, and Nick Fury. And one consequential damage should go on there. Okay, one threat on the main scheme. Side scheme deck is Mass Chaos. When revealed, each player discards the top card of the deck and places one threat here for each different type. Okay, this has a crisis symbol. <clears throat> So we can't take threat off the main scheme until we deal with that. One, two, three, four, five. How many different symbols do we have? We have one, two, three. So three different symbols. Strength, mind, and energy. So that gets a threat of three on it. Okay. He is going to attack for one, two, three, four. So just four damage, which will take out Falcon. That should have gotten two more um, threat on it because of those two symbols. And we get really another when defeated, each player searches the counter deck, discard pile for Hydra Minion, puts it into play, comes with two threat on it. These side schemes are getting, these are getting totally out of hand. Totally, completely out of hand. Okay. Using all four of my cards to bring in Nick Fury. And Nick Fury is going to... Remove two threats from this scheme. He's going to thwart for two to get rid of the prison camps. So I can search my deck and discard pile for an ally, put it into play. I'm going to put Spider Woman into play. When she comes into play, I'm going to confuse the enemy. Okay. Spider Woman is going to thwart for two to get rid of Hydra Patrol. And I search for a. I search the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra Minion. I want to find the easiest Hydra Minion that I can. Oh, bring in a Hydra regular. I know it has Insight 1, but that is okay. Shuffle the deck. Okay. They both took a consequential damage there and there. Insight 1, so we put extra threat on the main scheme. I am going to thwart, get rid of this side scheme. When defeated, each player chooses three cards from the discard pile, shuffles them into their deck. I'm going to go with energy channel energy and genius get some high cost resources why am i shuffling the discard pile that doesn't make any sense so i will put those three cards into my deck 
I am then going to flip over to Carol Danvers and draw a card. I get the Black Knight, his attacks gain piercing. Very cool. And ready everything and I draw up to six. Okay, we get Squirrel Girl, Black Knight, Energy, um, Captain Marvel's Helmet, Cosmic Flight, and Inspiring Presence. Very cool indeed. Okay, one threat on the main scheme. Side scheme comes out, and it is The Sleeper Awakens. This scheme cannot leave play while the sleeper is in play and put the sleeper into play engaged with the first player. <coughs> Pardon me. So here is the sleeper. Five health, three attack, one damage. Guard, retaliate, one and toughness. And he engages with the first player. I just realized that these uh, Red Skull side schemes, not Hydra Patrol, that one, and that one. These side schemes should uh, be in the side scheme deck, which we reshuffle now. Okay. So we have that. He will scheme, but he is confused. He will scheme for a one. And he will scheme for a one. Eight of eleven. Getting pretty dangerous. Pretty, pretty dangerous. And we get an encounter card, which is... A Hydra regular, which has Insight 1, so we are now at 9 of 11 on the Threat deck. Okay, I'm going to use Carol Danvers' ability to draw a card, getting us Maria Hill. I'm going to put, oh, Nick Fury goes away at the end of the turn. I'm going to play Energy to put Maria Hill into play, allowing us to draw a card, getting rapid response. Perfect. I'm going to use these two resources to put out Squirrel Girl. After Squirrel Girl enters play, deal one damage to each enemy. Toughness is gone. One damage. One damage. Red Skull goes down to two. Okay, I'm going to use these two resources to put Rapid Response back into play. I am going to flip Captain Marvel. Okay, Squirrel Girl is going to thwart for one and Maria Hill is going to thwart uh, Mass Chaos. That goes there. Going to thwart for two, doing one consequential and one consequential. And she, Spider Woman, is going to thwart for two. That takes her out. But with rapid response, she comes back into play with... No, consequential damage isn't defeating a character, so that doesn't happen. I apologize. OK. 
Okay. And Captain Marvel is going to thwart for two. I need to get that down. I don't want him to scheme out. Okay. This is going to be a painful turn. Draw five cards, which means my deck is empty. So I have to reshuffle. Because I reshuffled, I draw myself an encounter card. One threat on the main scheme. Another side scheme comes out. Hydra reinforcements. We've seen this before. Two threat on it. Red Skull is going to attack for one, two, three, four, five, six. Maria Hill was going to defend that. Uh, no, Squirrel Girl was going to defend that. So, Squirrel Girl gets defeated. But, Rapid Response kicks in, bringing Squirrel Girl back into play. With one damage, when she comes into play, deal one damage to everyone. Which is two Hydra Regulars. One damage to the Sleeper and one damage to Red Skull. Sleeper is going to attack. Squirrel Girl will take it again. Defeating her. And now I draw an encounter card. We have our first encounter card and another one because of the Hydra reinforcements. I'm hanging on by a thread. First encounter card is a Hydra Soldier with Guard. Next, Infinite Power. Give Red Skull a tough status and Red Skull is going to attack me. Okay, um... Maria Hill will defend, so one, two, three. And Bitter Rivals exhaust a character I control. So Maria Hill gets taken out and I have to exhaust Captain Marvel. And our last encounter card, Hydra Exo Soldier. Five health to attack to thwart with toughness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use Genius to play Crisis Interjection, remove two threat from a scheme. Remove two threat from there. The player who defeated this minion discards a non-elite minion. I'm going to get rid of the Hydra. Exo Soldier. He is elite. He is not elite. I'm going to put energy channel into play. I'm going to pay three energy to put three tokens on it. I'm going to spend that straight away to discard this. Dealing six damage to the sleeper. Remove the sleeper from the game. And when the sleeper is defeated, remove this card from the game. So I don't have to deal with that anymore. That cleared the board up a little bit. And I still have a strength left in hand. Okay. 
I'm going to flip. Yep, this is risky, but... Uh, no, I'm not going to flip. Okay, giving us Mockingbird, another energy absorption, Hawkeye, and ready for action. One threat, main scheme, side scheme deck, prison camps, we can put an ally into play, that's excellent. He's going to attack for two, I will take this, four damage coming my way. He's going to attack for two. I have to defend. Healing are uh, doing one. One damage. Okay. And drawing a an encounter card, which is Hydra Jet Trooper with Quick Strike, meaning he hits me for two. And I am dead. If I had lasted one more turn. I would have stunned him with Mockingbird and put Hawkeye into play and we would have been doing pretty good but unfortunately I was not able to defeat uh, Red Skull. I had his... I had him down to one but that was only on his first side. That was a pretty good game. I did enjoy that. It looked overwhelming in parts but yeah, there you go. That's Leadership Captain Marvel against Expert Red Skull. A complete and utter loss. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a great rest of your weekend.